After buying my iPad Pro, I really found it very convenient, and with the ongoing issues with my MacBook Pro crashing, I thought it might be a more reliable way to work on things wherever I am. One of the things I found that is I'm not always creative on schedule, in spite of anything I might have told you in the past. So I want to be able to work on scripts wherever I might be inspired. So I ended up spending another $20 to install the Scrivener scripting software on my iPad so I could write on the fly. The thing I've loved about Scrivener is not only that uh, it's highly community supported, but what they might lack in intuitive interface, they have great tutorial support. So in spite of this, everyone's situation is a bit unique and I ran into some snags I would like to show you a get around for which might save you a few bucks. And for my longer uh, Patreon video, uh, I give you a bit of a sneak peek at a project I'm working on right now and show you a little bit of the, uh, the actual interface. Uh, granted, some of my issue had more to do with Dropbox than with Scrivener, but uh, they really pushed the use of Dropbox as a sharing app and uh, I already had an account, so here it goes. First, a little background. I owned a MacBook Pro that had been running the Snow Leopard operating system and I had never upgraded it because I was afraid to lose the use of some of my apps, namely Adobe Creative Suite, and I feared that I'd have to rebuy them. Of course, when everyone stopped supporting Snow Leopard and my paid services I was using stopped functioning properly in my browsers like Stamps.com and Patreon, I had no option. So I took my machine to the Genius Bar and they helped me install Osiris. And as expected, I had to subscribe to the Adobe Creative Cloud to get my Photoshop and InDesign back. And thanks to my patrons, I was able to afford it. For better or worse, Osiris works a lot more like a mobile device. And Apple's way of keeping your uh, machine virus free is to allow you to only install apps through the App Store, for the most part. So back to Dropbox. Searching for it through the App Store, I couldn't find it. All I could find is a bunch of apps that play with uh, Dropbox, but not the actual Dropbox app. So I, I simply used it through my web browser. So trying to learn more about how to sync my files and share them from my MacBook to my iPad Pro, I set up Scrivener to sync to a new Dropbox folder in a Scrivener folder in my apps folder per their recommendation. To test it, I copied some of my scripts from my MacBook to that folder. As soon as I did, it zipped them. On uh, Scrivener, on my iPad, none of these files appeared on my project screen like they were supposed to. Long story short, after exchanging emails with the highly responsive Scrivener tech support staff, I learned I needed to install the Dropbox app from my Dropbox's website on my MacBook because the sync doesn't work from their browser interface for some reason. And yes, you can download it and install it even though it doesn't show up on the App Store. So don't buy any unzipping apps like I did. Even so, it's not seamless. When I copy my scripts from my MacBook to Dropbox, it eliminates the uh, .criv extension for some reason. So it's not immediately readable on my iPad, but you can go in and rename the file and manually add the uh, .scriv extension. Then you're all good. 